Hi everyone, welcome to Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm back with another Libra weekly reading for you. Uh, this reading is going to contain information about the upcoming week. So about April 23rd to about May 1st, 2023, give or take. Uh, you may already be dealing with some of these energies now. When the reading finds you, it was that's you know when it, it's meant to find you. Uh, as far as channeled messages, because channeled messages from the other, from your loved ones, from spirit, which I do um, throughout the reading, those are actually timeless. Okay, so um, I know some of you too have asked me if I could, uh, you know, connect with certain people. That will happen when I open up for personal readings, which should be in the upcoming months. You know, if um, there's enough interest, I guess, um, and if I'm feeling like that's something I can add uh, to my life uh, as well. So. Um, it is something I do enjoy though. So I love doing the channel messages for you. And I absolutely love reading your comments about how they resonated. It really helps me know that you are connecting and that, um, that my purpose in doing this is being met. And that purpose is that you receive the, um, you know, in, information messages, confirmation you need. Um, and you know, that, um, their messages are always for your greatest and highest good. I always um, am attuned to Reiki as I'm doing these readings, and that is universal love. Reiki is love. That is a very high frequency. I mean, it's it's universal life force energy. So it's it's um, you know connecting us all, and it's it's uh, always with the intention of love. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I use a lot of tarot and oracle decks. They're in the description box. Please, if you enjoy this, like, share, comment, subscribe. I have loved. The support you've showed me this week. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much to those of you returning Libras here um, or ones returning to this reading or the all signs readings that I did too. I was doing a weekly Libra and all signs. I do bonus readings too. And then this week of my special request, I am going to do a Pisces reading. So look out for that too, if you'd like. Um, again, though, with the channeled messages, if you're drawn to a reading and it's not your sign or, uh, you know, it says it's weekly. If it's channeled message from somebody, that's not bound by time. So um, you may find messages there. I just saw 222 on the clock. All right. So these are general readings, not personal, and take only what resonates user intuition. If I don't call out your name or your person's name, um, you know, know that there could be other messages. I do hope you still get something from the reading. And it doesn't mean they're not with you, okay? Um, our loved ones come through in various ways. This happens to be one direct method that they will use. And that's why, um, you know, I am happy to be that conduit for you today. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we have about this deck. Well, that seems about right for how things are going. I've done a few retakes of this reading, so... Maybe this will be the one that actually posts. I don't know. At this point, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, that seems to be the energy right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, secret admirer, Libra. So towards the end of the reading, I do pull cards specific for love. And I also do that for finance, career, wealth. Um, but you have a secret admirer. Mm. Intrigue, watchful, attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Now, yes, there's a heart. But this is the general portion here. And this does have to do with basically anything. You could be the number one person for an interview coming up. I'm also hearing May 4th. Okay. You could, um, I'm also getting lilacs, you know, and where I live, they're here in May. So, um, May is an important time. Lilacs could resonate as well. Um, yeah. So there's somebody who you've made an impression on in any setting it could be. Okay. So that's good news actually. I want to mention a few things that have come through to me aside from this reading as I tune into the energy of my viewers. I just saw 44 as well. Wonderful number. Um, is that, um, I'm going to name out a few names here too. Okay. They're getting kind of, all right, we'll get to that. But there's a lot of, I'm getting this energy right now. And I don't know if it's because it's eclipse season or what, and there's a lot of tricky energy, but I'm also, I'm getting the energy of um, false starts, false flames, false towers. I'm not saying, oh, everything's, you know, false right now. I'm just saying that things are maybe not what they seem with everything. And that's good or bad, Libra. That's not, you know, that can sometimes be, you didn't think you were going to get something and then boom, you get that or something better. Like it does work out, you know, or you get rerouted, I'm hearing, right? You get rerouted. Also, if your name is Petunia or Tuna as a nickname or a pet or something, you've been coming through a lot. So hello. 
Also, um, I get a lot of female D names, okay? So there's something here for you. I'm also getting Bradley a lot. I got Horatio before this reading. I've been getting Vito. I've been getting the words blue and October. Um, so there's something about that. Bianca, Bianco, white, Rosa, Rojo, Rosa, um, which is red. Oh, what? Um, okay, Molly. Peacock. Oh my gosh. I love how this is looking so far. So you've got, you're in your peacock energy here. You're proud, right? You should be. You're going to have something to be proud of if you're not already. Um, this is you being you and not doing so. You're not apologizing for it, right? This is protection and resurrection. Okay. And I, with all these synchronicities I've already seen in this reading with numbers, I feel like you are definitely spiritually protected and you're spiritually connected. And things are being divinely orchestrated in your favor, okay? All right, let's keep going here. We're going to jump right into tarot. And I think I was using a different deck when I did the other takes of this reading. Um, I didn't get far in them. Um, so this will be your true messages. I'm really hoping this is the one. <laughs> All right, let's get started with the tarot. So, spirits and guides, what is in our greatest, highest good for Libras to know for this upcoming week? Ah, take a breath. I'm hearing some of you really need to take a breath. Buttercup, who's Buttercup? You'll know if it's your message. This is a beautiful deck, okay? By the way, this is um, a very unique deck. This is the Textured Tarot, and it's by Lisa McLaughlin Art and that it's a deck I have not used yet with you. Um, so I'm excited to introduce this. We have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Oh my. So someone could be feeling abandoned either by you or it's you deciding you transformed, okay? This is tying into this peacock energy. Look at the card here. We have the beautiful um, glasses, the cups here. And moving on we have this butterfly on her back or on his back okay and they're moving on they have the information they need they are feeling strong actually you might be feeling like stronger than you normally do right serena is coming up so you may actually feel like oh you may be seeing cardinals too that's come through before too and reginald always comes through it seems too so somebody um reggie reginald oh i'm also getting somebody is um they're, they were connected to uh, a reverend, pastor, priest, someone in their family. I'm getting um, sort of a masculine energy with it. It doesn't have to be, though. I'm hearing the name Baron, and also I hear um, Jerome. Those may or may not be connected to the reverend energy, but that, that person who is in spirit right now, they're with you. They are so with you. I'm also hearing the name LaDonna. Okay? Now... I've been getting the name Donna a lot. I've also been getting an L name and it just, it's, it clicked when I wasn't in the reading. It's clicked like days ago, but there's something there. If your name's Natasha, there may be something extra here. Courtney, Chelsea, Delilah, Dawn, Donna. Got, Donna comes through a lot, Donna, but it's not just Donna. There's something else. It could be Luana, Luana, LaDonna, La, um, Delana, something. It's like a combination of two names almost. All right. So, um, and so if you haven't watched me before, I'm also getting Artie, Archie. If you haven't watched me before, I do have channeled messages throughout. That's what makes these readings, you know, somewhat unique um, to what you might be seeing. Uh, I know other people who channel messages, but mine's like throughout the reading um, frequently. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's going to happen. And here we are. Okay. I don't want to cover the kitty though. Oh, yes. Don't block your intuition. Okay. That's another thing coming through. When I covered that cat, I felt like instant, like I'm blocking that, you know, because cats are very independent and intuitive. So I feel somebody may actually feel abandoned by you. You may be moving on here with this five of pentacles. You, somebody might be pretty bummed out. Yeah. They're like mulling it over now. Like, well, that didn't go as planned. Okay, you also, because of these false towers, false starts, false flames, I feel as though we need to be very careful 
that there isn't something hidden that we're not seeing, especially when it comes to other people and what they say. Go by what people do. And also remember, what are their motivations? What are their true intentions? Stick to your intentions and your intuition, right? Examine it from your lens rather than letting someone else put their energy on your plans. So if you're not quite ready to make a move yet, perhaps don't tell everybody, right? I also hear Petunia again, and there's another P, P name for possibly a female, okay? I'm Patrick as well. Um, all right. Vera. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some of you are walking away from a particular person even, or a situation. Um, and no help is on the way, okay? Help, not no help, but help is on the way. Know that because... With the five of pentacles they're not falling down right it's not the ten of swords i mean the ten of swords is that's an okay card too depending on how you look at it right but the five of pentacles they're still moving they have supports in place right there's the person with the crutch there's a, a church or some other building right there with the pretty stained glass windows right and the lights on they can go in there they're just going to round that corner and go in so it's close it's very close all right. But if it does have to do with leaving, you leaving with this eight of cups, when I see these together, I feel like you are leaving. Also, 85 could be of significance to you. 1985, 85. Perhaps you've also found coins on the ground lately. Check those dates. I'm getting 85, 87. Um, and they're not just pennies I'm hearing. Okay. They're not just pennies. I'm getting Louisa. Oh, here we go. Ashley. I just said it's not the Ten of Swords. And I have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so I'm already loving this deck. It's like super, um, I just love it. Okay, um, I'm hearing Elantra. Elantra. All right, or a name that sounds like that even. So uh, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. This is that completion we we're talking about. But look, it is, it's light. There is lightness here too. But there's no doubt there's something coming to an end here with this. Or someone could be feeling such despair or such like such a block. This could be you fearing that if you move on, this is gonna do this, this is gonna bring a ten of swords to someone, and you don't maybe don't want to do that. But we're gonna see what the rest of the cards say. This could be you too, and now you're coming back in your peacock energy. Um Let's see what keeps coming out though, okay? I'm hearing divine timing. So we do wanna be mindful of that. I'm getting um, Maggie. Some of you could be renting a tuxedo, a tux. There's also a connection here with jelly beans, if that's your nickname, possibly. Uh, and I heard Jello earlier too. Uh, sometimes your loved ones um, are pretty, uh, like to me, it might not make sense, but it'll make sense to you. They're creative, but but also uh, I'm hearing heart of gold. Someone may have told you that, or they're viewing you as that, or you know, it's been said recently. Ooh, loving this. Um, Luana or Luanda, Lena. Oh, okay. All right, so. Um, thing, I'm hearing things are not as they seem though. Okay. So maybe you, this is your energy or was, or somebody else you're afraid of that maybe for them. Uh, what I was saying about the messages, sorry, I, I go, I'm in different energies at the same time. Um, sometimes my logic is like, forget it. <laughs> it's kind of out the window a little bit. Um, but I'm getting that, um, you know, some of these energies are very determined. Okay. They're very determined. So if they don't get through to you in this reading, they're going to get through to you somehow. So pay attention to what's going on in your environment. I just saw 14, 14. That could also be translated as 11 and 44. It could also be five, five. So we have some change coming up. We have some divine um, connection. We have divine protection, divine resurrection. Oh man. Could, I mean, seriously. Wow. <laughs> your birthday may be 10, 10. You may identify with tens, 10, 10. You may have found a dime. We have uh, Ashley, 10 of wands. All right, we have Luther as well. Um, Ten of Wands, you know, you're getting ready to put that burden down, maybe. Now you've made it this far. I mean, the person is still in movement, right? They're still moving. And they seem to have a good grip on things. Things are tied up neatly. They're about to finish something. They're ending something here. All right.
I'm hearing it doesn't have to be so difficult. It doesn't have to be so dramatic. Um, maybe you're telling that to someone or that's a message for you. Somebody played marbles, battleship, jacks, hopscotch, those kind of games as a kid. I'm hearing robots. That's coming in. Diane as well. Dante, 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 Desmond. All right, so we have Queen of Wands, and some of you could be dealing, okay, so we have, I want to call it out on the board, uh, Cups, right? That's your water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Pentacles here, that's Earth signs. We have, um, uh, so that's Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo. We have Air signs, okay? That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Fire here. Right out of the gate here, we have every single element. I feel like that's another indication that you are protected, you are resourceful, you are the magician. Okay, you are the magician. Ten of Wands, fire energy. So that's uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And then we have the Queen of Wands. This is an awesome energy. The Queen of Wands, I feel like this comes up a lot in Libra readings, not just on my channel. This, here we are with the cat, black cat, right? We have a sunflower. This is her harvest, right? She made this happen. Okay, she made this happen. This is somebody who is not afraid to be themselves, who's not afraid to do, to lead, to speak out. We've got flowers here, right? These are blossoming. They're blooming. She did that. She did that. This is, or he, however you want to identify it as. Um, I'm saying she for the purpose of right now, um, feeling the, this energy. Um, I'm getting that, okay, your, your feminine power right now is key. We all have mix of female, male. Um, I know some people might disagree with that, but that's my belief. So. Um, a very independent energy leader. This is someone, again, who gets things done, right? This is the first one out on the dance floor, too. I'm going to tell you, the Queen of Wands are so fun to hang out with. Yeah. I got some of that wand energy here with my Sag Moon. but <laughs> So I love fire signs. Um, very fun. But also, at the same time, I feel like with the fire signs that I know, there's that directness where... Sometimes the truth hurts, but, you know, you appreciate it nonetheless. And you may have to be that way with someone right now, or, you know, they may do that with you. But the Queen of Wands is great. I mean, that, because it's, again, it's it's manifestation, it's fire, it's ambition, it's getting you what you want. It's that entrepreneurial energy. It's that confidence. Nobody's knocking her down. She's a queen, okay? She made it all the way to queenhood, right? It's a queen. I'm also hearing, I'm hearing, um, oh, so I'm not going to say it yet. I'm going to wait. Carmichael. Some of you might need a new lamp, a lampshade. You may be painting your door too. There's something about a new door. You may be making a final payment. I'm hearing that's con congratulations. Final payment. Some of you need bread. You need to go get to the store and get some bread, huh? <laughs> I know some of you are going, well, I'm gluten free. Hey, they have some decent free, the decent free. <laughs> they have some decent gluten free bread. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. All right. I'm listening right now. Page of Swords. Hmm. Might be a little hesitancy here. All right, before this reading, I was getting the first, if I didn't say it already, I was getting the name Horatio. I'm seeing Brandon right now. I'm getting Olivia. I also have a Orlando or Orlando. Amando. Amon. Amond. Amond. All right. So we have page of swords. Okay. This is, this is somebody who knows their stuff though. I mean, even though they're, I mean, they're a messenger. Okay. But they, they do have, you know, something to offer within their message. Okay. So that's how I'm looking at this card because she's standing on that stack of books, this person, he, she, they, um, they're on this, this, uh, this book here. There is an innocence here with these white flowers. Um, I feel like, you know, Maybe they're sticking by the book a little bit here, but they're seeing more things on the horizon. This is a curious energy, all right? This is also a studious energy. Some of you may be finishing up a certificate, a degree, or you may be thinking of starting something, even in May, perhaps. May is coming up. Valentine, Valentino, Valentina. Hmm. 
to what's coming up then. This is some, you're getting a message. We're going to be getting some kind of clarity because I feel like this, we started out, look at this, you know, with the murkiness here. Eesh, that's like dusty, mucky, what's going on energy. But you've got, you know, and that's all. And then we're moving into now this more blue spring. I'm hearing charismatic too. Somebody here is very charismatic. That could be why you have a secret admirer. That could be why someone is really attracted to you for your words. Hearing Damon, Desmond, um, Ario, something Ario. All right. Okay. Loving this deck. I feel like it's being pretty clear. I haven't had needed to clarify yet. I'm getting the state of Michigan. Could be anything to do with Michigan. I'm getting Allie as well. Allie. Foxwood. Reginald. Okay. Oh, seven of swords. Okay. Now all we need is the five of swords, right? And then we have like the eight of cups, the five of pentacles, the ten of swords, the ten of wands, the seven of swords. All right. So be careful of the wolf in the sheep's clothing. Someone, I'm going to just flat out lay it out here. I don't like to scare anybody, of course, but if I see it, I'm going to say it because, hey, that's my way. <laughs> um, Someone may not be being so direct with you. This is that sneaky, deceptive energy. I'm saying, based on what I feel on this card, because I do read intuitively as well as the traditional means, but I feel like there's, I'm hearing snake in the grass. There's a snake in the grass here. All right. Somebody may be trying to convince you that you should do something their way, but is that really the way you should go for yourself? Is it Queen of Wands, right? Mm. I mean, we're the Queen of Swords. We're also that Queen of Wands. We're also the Empress, right? And we're Justice. Okay, so something is not quite adding up with something I think that someone's trying to tell you or convince you of. That's what it feels like. I'm getting a male L name, even. I'm also seeing the letter C, as in cat, but it's not cat. All right, so... I don't like this energy, but I feel like, look at this. Queen of Wands, she's, she has got her lookout, okay? This could even be the same person, right? Same energy. Page of Swords here. Seven of Swords. Look at, she's seeing it though. This person's seeing it. They, he, she, they're seeing it here. Now, what's interesting is the sneaky snake doesn't see you in the grass. That's what's interesting is that. I don't think they know how far you've come and who they're dealing with necessarily. I think that it's sort of like you can't outfox a fox, right? So that is coming through for some of you. All right. I also get uh, Bradley. I'm hearing Colleen Colin. Also, because I am clairaudient, sometimes things are a little mumbled. So I may be hearing Colin and it could be calling. Someone may be calling you or you're calling someone out. I just saw 333 on the clock. You may be calling someone out on their stuff. I do want to say though, I feel like some good advice we're hearing right I'm hearing now is that avoid that drama. Avoid things like uh, public, you know, doing things in public, being too public about something or um, as, or, uh, you know, letting the emotions get the best of you. It's, it's, uh, it's possible that, that that could happen easily now because we may be triggered by some of this like eclipse energy um, or there could be something totally different too that, that uh, I'm hearing again, I hear Luana or something, a name like that. So some, there's gotta be something here for somebody named this also. I don't know if somebody's having teriyaki something or they did or whatever, but I'm getting teriyaki. So maybe you're ordering some food and, or you're making some food or, yeah, now I'm hungry. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's keep going. We get Violet. Now somebody play the violin on the other side, or it could be you if you're playing the violin. Okay. And even that, the sound of music could be important to you. Either actually the sound of music, literally, or the, um, the movie or musical. Mm -hmm. huh, six of Wands, yay! 
and your victory prevails. This is your victory card, right? You're riding into town. Someone's watching, right? They're watchful. Look, but you're watching back, okay? You're watching back. I'm getting Bradley again. It's coming through a lot, okay? I'm getting Michigan again, too. Six of Wands, all right. Saying it again as though I didn't say it already. <laughs> More fire energy, though, because this is right. This is the Queen of Wands. Now you're riding into town, right? You're riding into town. You're like, yeah, this this one, I'm going to send that one on their way because that whatever that is, if it's an offer or a person or a situation, walking away. I don't see this being you. I see this as somebody uh, that you come across on your path that's on your path that uh, just know you have other options. You don't have to settle for that. I read something today about, you know, Oh, oh, I'm. Uh, I try not. I should be trying to use that side of my brain when I'm channeling. Um, anyway, six of wands is, uh, you know, definitely your victory lap here. I feel like you're the chosen one for something. You may. This could have to do with a job. I'm also getting um, again back to something being paid off. Maybe you get a loan you were hoping for. I'm hearing Greta and also Jones. Um, Sometimes I'll get names that do go together, like a famous person or something. But when it comes through, I need you to either, either you're a fan of them or you separate the two. And maybe Jones only applies for your case, right? Oh, I'm also getting Smithfield hams. So Virginia might be of significance. Three of cups here, celebration, temperance, but you're going to have to remain balanced. You're going to have to make a judgment call here. Okay, so again, I think you're calling the shots and something you're calling it like it is. Um, this is the, uh, the temperance card, card 14. That's a five. So that'll be change. Um, and we have three of cups here. This is the celebration. Uh, I feel like you're wondering if it's safe to celebrate yet. And there may, it may be just a, in a little bit, you could find the cause for celebration. Some of you may have just found out, maybe you did pay something off. Maybe you did hear back and you have, you know, a really good, opportunity ahead of you now okay or maybe you met somebody actually i'm hearing that could have you could have met somebody i'm also getting scott antonio antonia it could be place person all right three of cups and temperance nicely going together with this queen of wands and the six of wands look at that libra i want to get one of these cards one of the moonology cards all the decks are in the description box these are tough to shuffle. Walters or Walter as a name, maybe. It's time to take action. This is the new moon in Aries. What do you know? What do you know? Perfect timing and time. Time to take action. Look at what's featured here, okay? We've got our eclipse coming up here too. And now is Aries season, all right? And I think this is coming out in the last degree of Aries or something. So and it's the second one maybe in a month's time or so. Anyway, not an astrologer, but I try to stay somewhat updated. All right, so we have this. Oh, yes. I'm going to get one of these. Coffee cup. Also, yeah, I'm getting like coffee, coffee, Vanessa as well. Thanks. We're taking too many. We're taking this one though. Gazelle. Okay, change, purify. Yeah. So in order to make your changes, some of you may be putting your air conditioners in too. Be safe. I mean, that's, you know, make sure that they're actually supported from the outside. All right. Um, that's a message coming through. So we have change purity gazelle. All right. Some of you actually, that could be a name or a name like that, like Giselle. Okay. I'm getting it as a name as well. I'm getting a uh, Monica Monique. All right. So, okay. So I feel like someone's nickname maybe is taco. Uh, that is coming through as well. Okay. As well as I'm getting something about parking on the street and, and um, being frustrated with that too, um, picking up on that. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, again, just like making sure that we're not um, letting things, uh, first of all, you're protected. I want to tell you that right now. Okay. Um, so that's coming through, but just making sure we're not getting our emotions, getting the best of us, right. And sending us out of the energy that we want to be in that good energy. So change and purity on the way. So getting rid of, uh, anything not in your greatest highest good, right. Cleaning things out, getting rid of, uh, unhealthy patterns, thoughts, people, places, that sort of thing. Okay. We're going to actually, okay. So let me recap this here. I think this is pretty good for now. Um, 
we do have a lot coming in for you. Uh, something very positive. You've caught somebody's eye and attention. That's for sure. You're going to want to be, um, you know, careful, like agile here. You're going to want to go forward with your integrity, with whatever's going on with you. Okay. You're highly tuned to source right now. Um, you have, you do have a reason to be proud. You have essentially, you've overcome so much. You're in this queen of wands now, but because you've been resurrected essentially, right? Some of you may feel like that, that Phoenix from the ashes, right? So you are moving on from something. Yep. And I feel again, like I said before, somebody may be trying to convince you of something when you know best. Okay. You're the pilot I'm hearing. We're going to get a closing card from this. I'm hearing Agatha giving birth. Okay. I'm bringing forth new and dynamic energy into the world. Yes. Goes very well with this change in purity, doesn't it? We're going to take this reading now, Libras, into the love portion. If you have a specific love question, please know I'm going to choose cards. They're yes, no cards. Okay. So have those three questions in mind. Oops. I mixed something up here. So I have this deck in the Oracle cards are mixed in with the tarot. And I had flipped some, like I flipped the Oracle ones over to separate. So bear with me, please. Shouldn't be too bad here because I didn't shuffle much. Great. Okay, good. We may end up with an oracle and a tarot and tarot and an oracle or something like that. So now this could be, the reading's going to guide me here and let me know if this is looking or what. Single looking separated. Some of you have dearly departed loved ones. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing Susan too. Lamal. Jamal. We have lessons. Separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. So some of you who are separated, that is the message. Okay. Um, that the set, yeah, for now it's, it could just be a for now temporary situation. All right. And we have a couple of tarot cards for this, the sun and then the page of one. So if this is something that you want to um, rekindle, it looks like there could be an opportunity for that. I'm hearing May, June. So it could be, this is growth, renewal, joy, happiness, and love. But I do feel like um, this could actually be someone brand new. So I feel like this one is actually for someone in separation and or single, totally single. Um, and this is, you could be getting some messages. I feel like you may have a choice still of partners here. Um, you may be talking to, I'm even getting up to three people. There are four even maybe, who knows? Maybe some of you have five, who knows? But there, there are different people involved here. I'm getting more than one person in the relationship with the other person. So not as a, like a third party, because again, you're single. So for those, oh, actually we're going to do one more, um, one more card for this part. Love message for the single and separated. Emotions, look deep within your emotions. What is it that you really want Libra, right? You're not settling. That's for sure. I want to get actually a love message right now for, for those uh, dearly departed loved ones of yours. Um, could be romantic. But what what is the message, please, Spirit, for um, the viewers who need the message now? Who, what, what is the message that, that we need to know regarding love, our love connection from Spirit, from loved ones? Feelings. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. Oh, this could have been a recent loss. I'm even picking up on the loss of a child. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. Whew. All right. Um, you may have also lost a parent recently. Sorry, or an auntie. Yeah. Somebody very dearly loved. I feel like I'm getting that it was pretty recent or very like um, unexpected even. Even if it's like a long illness, maybe you didn't expect it to be that time exactly that they went. Ooh, all right. <sighs> Surprise, you may be about to be surprised. Okay, so your loved ones are letting you know that there, there, there is something coming up, so trust in that. Okay, and remember they are with you, okay? Um, I feel like you may, some of you may be tested though, but... I think I'm also getting what you want wants you. Okay. So also from <clears throat> your loved ones on the other side here, which could be romantic as well. I'm feeling like this one might be romantic. 
this one right here, maybe. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. Okay, so they're still in communication with you, all right? They're definitely still in communication with you. You may feel them, obviously. And I feel like you're hearing things too, uh, like a rattle or something, or maybe something in the kitchen and you go out and there's nothing there. Or a, I'm getting cupboard doors even could be open, something left open. I'm hearing something about a suitcase as well. Um, and that may be relevant for some of you, obviously, just some. All right, so that is what I have from the other side. I want to get a divine number that's, again, like an angel number um, that your, your um, loved one could be using to communicate with you at this time. Shelly is coming through right now, right at this moment. Oh, some of you are, are cusp signs or your loved one was on the cusp. Yeah, I'm getting this. I'm getting a flirtatious energy. 1717, connect to the higher mission. It's time to inspire, teach, and heal others. Look to your, your, uh, you know, your ascended ancestors, your guides, your, your loved ones who have crossed over, um, you know, for support as you try to do this. It's a big decision. Always choose yourself first in love, right? Next, we're going to go for um, those in our relationship. Overall, we have wishing. Replaying events, suffering in silence. So some of you may uh, be in a relationship and the communication is just not quite right at this time. If that's so, you'll know if this is your reading or not. Getting a little more information on this for you through tarot. I have the fool and it was um, in reverse. So this could be something that you've just tried rekindling. You've tried restarting something. It could also be, um, you know, that it's not, yeah, it's someone you, oh, I'm hearing recurrent. So this could be someone that you, you know, again, that false start, restart could also be somebody you've been with for a long time. And like, maybe the romance isn't quite there. Um, but with the full card here, you're being reminded to remain optimistic and know that, you know, that you didn't waste your time on anybody and it's not your fault. You know, relationships take two, but, um, being, having that optimism, having that, like, maybe you want your freedom back right now. Um, or you want to feel free to communicate more in the relationship and be like your authentic self and you want them to open up. I'm getting that too. What else do we have? We have devil energy. So some of somebody could have some addiction issues. They could have some destructive habits. It could be a codependent relationship. They could try to make their problems yours. Unfortunately, what else do we have? We have the seven of swords. Okay. So this does not mean there's infidelity, spying, deception, or lies. It means that, I. Uh, in this case, I'm getting that there's somebody who's not really being true to themselves. Okay. And that may be you actually, that may be you, you know, you can only lie to yourself so long. Right. But that's, I'm not saying that's what you're doing. Okay. It's only for some of you, please only take what resonates. We have the King of Pentacles for you though. So this is a loyal, secure, taking love seriously relationship. So if you did just start dating somebody or whatever, it could be, you know, it could have been your wish, or you could be wishing for this King of Pentacles or for that person to be back in a solid situation again, maybe I'm hearing they might need a lot of support from you. Um, and you're really, you wanting to be able to, to rely on them too. And for them to be more responsible and getting Capricorn energy too with this. Um, I feel like they have some good qualities possibly like they actually might be loyal. They might actually be very loyal to the relationship. I just don't know if they're necessarily communicating and expressing their affection the way they once did, or maybe they haven't, they've just have like a, a hard time with that. Maybe. Let's get another message for this. Okay, what else? What, what are they going to, you know, maybe they want to tell you something in this reading. Let's connect to that energy. What do you need to know? What do you need to hear about this love situation? Soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. So this could be rekindling it with that person. And you could also find something else, someone new. But it could also be, this is like part of your life. Okay, this is part of your life's purpose or your path. So, um you know, you could be actually reconnecting with yourself. You could be reconnecting with someone from the past too, like someone that, you know, the one that got away, you know, sort of thing. Um, I want to get other love messages for you. What would, um, this is the single people here or, or uh, separated. We have my beloved, though we may be physically apart. This is just so fitting. We may be physically apart. Spiritually, we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You may hear from them again. And in April. And then for, um, for the, in a relationship, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. 
In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. You'll know if that's your message, Libra. The yes, no questions now that you had for love. Think of them, please. I'm going to do one, two, three. There's going to be yes, no, maybe. Your first answer is maybe. <laughs> time, it says. Timing issue, time will tell. Don't worry about time. For your next love question we have. Numbers. Yes. Synchronicities, divine timing or divine communication, and yes. There's a 48 on this cake. 48 or 12 or 4 or 8 could be significant for you. And next we have your third question. Possessive. Maybe. So this is holding on, protecting this. Want them to yourselves, for themselves. Some may resonate with you here, okay? Um, next we're going to do um, career card. Pull a career card for you. We have, these are very hard to shuffle. Whoa! We have a couple here. So things to think about. Commitment, card nine. All right. This is like, how much are you willing to sacrifice? So in the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins. Not through strength, but through perseverance. Think of that strength card energy, right? Your willpower. Starting a business is a longer, harder road than most ever imagined. The greatest determiner of success will be your de determination itself. Trademark, 43. Have you ever added trademark symbols to your logo or brand? Have you formally registered what you need to? Are you licensed? Every trademark you build adds to the financial value of your business much more than your tangible assets. So this is all about, you know, keeping what's yours, making what's yours, yours officially, okay? Careful with your ideas. You know, you don't want to be giving away too much to people until you're ready. Website, this is 44. Websites promote you 24-7. No employees will do that. So they're essential, okay, for product discovery, information, sales updates, recruiting, hosting, customer support manuals, and more. All right. So this may be encouraging you, you know, if you're wondering about it, have more of an online presence here. Maybe start that website. Get your name out there. Okay. So for, um, I'm going to get you a fortune cookie for a career. I saw 222. That's very good. Romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance of romance is high for those seeking a connection. Okay. So that actually goes with love. So looks like we're doing that. That's not the right card, I don't think. Property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transaction. A property purchase or sale for many, or Make sure you're, you know, okay, I need to reread this. There's two messages I feel in this card. Some of you, it could be closing a real estate deal or something or having that, getting into that sort of field. But also I feel like, again, what's yours is yours. Make sure you're getting that you're getting what you need to, like you're, you're fully licensed. You make sure you put the copyright logo on your website and stuff. A property purchase or sale for many, that could be a possibility for some of you. But heed security concerns in any transactions. Be very careful the information you're giving people, right? And who you're giving it to. That's the fortune cookie message there. I'm going to get you an overall fortune message. This could be pertaining to love or career. Wish. We got wish in the love one. 35. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. That's fantastic, Libras. We're getting an animal card because so many of us are, in fact, animal lovers. I'm going to pick from in here. And we have orange bellied parrot, card 36. Radiance, expression, communication, acceleration. Yeah, activity is going to increase. You could find you have more energy even though you're very tired at the same time, right? I'm going to get you. Um, no, nope, we're not using this deck. We're going to do one final card. And this could pertain to anything in the reading. Old wounds, patterns. We attract what we need to heal. Often we find ourselves attracting the same type of people or situations that are not best for us. Until we choose to find the common denominator of what we need to, 
heal and release, the cycle will continue. Go within to heal the pain layer by layer to find joy again. Going to get one more angel number. Oh, we're doing the top one here. One, two, three, four. Sign of progression. Yes, Libra. Things aligned for a new spiritual journey. And that is the reading. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe, and may you have a beautiful week, Libras.